Hey guys, today we have the, I'm baffled, but we have another band announcement. A for Work Marvel is banned. That is insane to me. Essentially what happens is they ban something. Let's say they ban Amico or Smuggler's Copter. Another deck takes the top deck definition, which you don't want to be called that right now. And then the Guardian deck, Sahili Ra Cat combo gets banned. And now A for Work Marvel is banned. So five cards in standard, and nothing has even rotated out yet. We had Reflector Mage, we had Emiko, Smuggler's Copter, A for Work Marvel, and Guardian. Wow, like a lot of you will consider this good, you will be very happy, but there are people who purchased each of these decks and now they are no, there's no value to them. Yes, you can break them down to its components, but they have to find a new deck. And if Zombies, which is now the tier one deck, which is now the best deck, is it doesn't share. It does not have a similar card pool as A for Work Marvel. Now you might say, oh, why do these people net deck? These people should not net deck. We should all play rogue decks all the time. And as interesting and compelling as that might be to some people, it's just not going to happen. When you see pros, they are always playing the top decks. And people know what the top decks are and they want to mimic the pros. One of the more interesting parts about this announcement is Consumer confidence is completely gone in standard. I am not gonna I haven't played standard since they banned Emical just because I wasn't even playing that deck, but I was playing the deck with Reflector Maids and a Falia Rogue build that was not tier one at all. It's probably like tier four maybe. I don't know. It, it just seems one, emergency bans are always bad. I don't know if this is an emergency ban, but Guardian definitely was. Guardian was now announced two days later. Such an odd scenario. Recently, it was said that they don't have people to play test these cards, which is shocking, right? Like, what? Where does all the money go? Like, if you cannot afford a play testing team. So, A for Work Marvel. Here we're going to take a look at what does it mean to be banned? What percentage of the field needs to do well does this card deck need to be to be banned? So it needs to be 26.9%. The win ratios are, it's okay. I mean, it's about 50-50. Some decks are better. Some decks are not as good. But if you are 26.9% of the field, you will get banned. And that is just the where we are today. I find it very sad. Instead of printing, I, and I've had this argument in the comment sections, and I don't understand what the point of view is, so if you can emphasize it a little bit more. Instead of printing really strong answers and really good cards that are going to be standalone powerful, that's the solution in my opinion is Amaket has a lot of weak cards. I don't know how Amaket was supposed to stop the Sahili cat combo. I don't know how Amaket would stop A for Work Marvel. And that was after Emiko was banned. I don't know how Amaket is going to stop Smuggler Copter. I mean, Reflector Mage is the exception. I don't, I'm going to leave that one out. It's mine like numbing, right? Like you created this set called Amaket. An hour of devastation. You did not have answers to the top decks in the set. No one play tested it. No one understood that hey, Sahili Ra can make infinite combos with this Guardian. Like no one caught that and was like, oh, that's probably not a good idea. Let's uh, make the Guardian ten mana or something. Uh, something ridiculous. You could still have the combo, but it wouldn't be as competitive. No one caught that. They didn't have a playtesting group, apparently, given their previous announcement where they are now creating a playtesting group. They make it sound like they're creating a new one. So either two things happen. The playtesting group was really, really poor and they don't want to admit that they had one or there was no playtesting group at all. I mean, 
you cannot keep banning every deck that does well. It doesn't make any sense. How would anyone want to play this format where everything just gets banned all the time? Forget rotation. This is the new rotation. We don't even need rotation anymore. Just keep banning top decks. Now, was Marvel very good? Yes. Was Marvel very powerful? Yes. Did it kind of suck because it had that random spinning the top effect? Yes. But you should have banned it at one go. Like My issue is not necessarily with the amount of bans or the how is how they ban them. Imagine a person buys the buys a deck, the smuggler copter deck, which is like every deck. And then their card gets banned. They gotta buy a new deck. They buy the Sahili Rock Cat Combo deck. That gets banned. Then they buy the Ace of Work Marvel deck. That gets banned. At some point, your player base is not gonna to wanna to continue anymore because they've lost money along the way. I don't know how much money, but it's a it's not even losing the money. It's the feeling that you cannot take this deck that you built, that you traded for, that you worked hard on, and you learned, and you cannot no longer play this deck because it's too good. The whole point you are playing this deck is because it's good. So it's chicken or egg, right? Now we all, all have to play these rogue crappy decks now because at least they won't be banned, right? Um, I don't know. I'm very, very upset. I don't own this deck, right? I, I did own Sahili Rops. And I was upset at that time, and I made made a comment. If you go back to that video, my last comment was, it will happen to you. Maybe not this time, not Sahili Ra, but in the future, it will happen to you. Just because given the current frequency of these bands, it's unlikely that if you play a tier 1 deck in standard, or modern, or something like that, that they won't go after your deck at some point. They banned a lot. And it's for card sales. Like, it's all about the money. And it's not like they banned something in Amaket that was super strong, because nothing is. But they banned something to pre that would not, that would prevent people from needing cards from Amaket. Now, instead of Amaket being really strong and standing alone and being able to compete against older sets, like A for Revolt. Amaket is a weak set, and the only way that you can promote a weak set is if you ban all the other strong cards, right? They want Black Zombies to be the best deck. It's not, but they want to make it the best deck, and now it is the best deck. And guess where those Black Zombies are coming from? Amaket. I've said that many times. It's all about the money. Uh, every decision uh, Hasbro makes financially, you might think that they're the best company, they're the most generous company, they're giving all these football players who lost their card collections uh, free cards, they're giving random people free cards. You know, that's all promotion, that all has PR. When you see something on the top of Reddit and people are like, oh man, this football player lost his collection and Wizard of Coast gave him a huge amount of new Magic cards. Awesome. Everything is calculated. Everything is... It has been calculated that the backlash from this banning will not... will be less than the money that they make now that Black Zombies is the best deck. Because guess who has to open I'm a cat? You, the magic player. Anyway, bye guys.